Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nirali and I'm currently a third year medical student who studies at Plovdiv Medical University in Bulgaria. So today's video is actually part two of the study abroad series and it is going to be based on the entrance exam that you have to sit for Bulgarian medical schools. Now, in particular, I am going to be talking about Plovdiv Medical University. I will basically be giving you like some tips and tricks on how to ace the entrance exam, what the layout is like, um, what are some examples of questions that you might get, and I will show you some past papers. Studying for these entrance exams, it's quite nerve wracking when you're in the initial process, when you're in the initial pr um, part of your application. But I just want to reassure you that it is nothing to worry about like I have been in your shoes and getting through these exams has been once once I finished my exam it just felt like a hot weight lift was lifted off my shoulders so most of my videos will be based around using MedConnect Europe as your agency now they actually offer with their package a student portal service so they provide resources for universities in Bulgaria and Romania now these universities require you to take an entrance exam so it covers Plovdiv University, Pleven, Sofia, Varna, Trakia, and a university in Romania. Once you've registered with MedConnect Europe to use their services and paid the instalment fees that you need to, they will ask you to create an account with their student portal, which is over here on their website. It's in the top right hand corner. Once your request has been accepted, you will then have access to the online portal. As you can see, there are several tabs on the top and we are going to be focusing on the practice papers for today. As you can see, at Plovdiv, you only need to take the chemistry and the biology paper. Now, the amazing thing about this online software is once you click on a subject, you will be redirected to a page which has all the practice papers, all the answers and all the explanations as well. You will also be provided with a syllabus and a document about the exam format. So one of the things I do recommend you do first is basically check out the guidelines for the online entrance exams in both chemistry and biology. So they both will be an online exam and it will tell you how many questions there are, um, how long you'll get, how it's graded. So the number of points in the Bulgarian system, the points are converted into a final mark ranging from two to six and you need basically a three to pass. So let's, for example, click on practice paper number five. You will be taken to a page which has a list of questions. So if you can answer all these practice papers confidently, then you have a very, very high chance of passing the final exam. And as you can see, there's also answers as well. So it will tell you, you know, which ones are correct basically in red. And there's also explana explanations for if you don't understand anything per answer. Now, that's just for chemistry. It's a similar thing for biology too. You will also be provided with um, practice exam papers, answers and explanation, exam format and the syllabus documents. So the guidelines for the biology entrance exam are obviously a lot more different to the chemistry paper. So please, please, I cannot stress this enough. Make sure you double check the guidelines, make yourself familiar with the rules and the differences between both papers. So again, let's click on a practice paper and check it out. My exam was actually very similar to this. I do remember this multiple choice question box. I do remember, you know, some of the open, open questions that they have here, the tables, etc. Um, yeah, and then they've got some open questions in the end. When you have a look at these resources, it can get quite overwhelming as well if you don't understand certain things. MedConnect has also kindly provided, provided students with their own textbooks too. Now, all of these, um, textbooks will contain everything you need to know for the Bulgarian Medical University entrance exam. Now just to let you know, these are the um, entrance exam dates for Plovdiv Medical University. I do recommend that you ask MedConnect for a list of all the entrance exams for each individual university. So Now one of the most common questions I get asked about the entrance exam is, can you give me some tips and tricks? So yeah, number one, be consistent with the resources that you use. Try not to use too much because you don't want to overcomplicate things and then confuse yourself. But two, make sure you go through all these revision papers that they have on their website at least twice. And if you're lucky, three times. Now, why I'm stressing this point is because 
90% of the time, the university will recycle these questions. So if you've already familiarized yourself with them twice, then you'll have good memory. The third tip that I have is try not to panic. I know it's really hard me saying that already been accepted into medical school. When I was doing my entrance exam, it was the most nerve wracking process that, I'd have, that I had ever had to go through. So I totally understand how everyone is feeling about this. And my last point is, make sure you pay attention to the time limit on the day of the exam. Set like a silent timer on your phone if that's possible. Just turn the um, the sound option off for it. I know you can do that on an iPhone. Okay, so I'm gonna close the video out here now. If you guys have any other questions about the entrance exam or about the initial application process, then please feel free to DM me on my social media or leave a comment down below. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and press the bell button. Before I forget to mention, if you guys are interested in using MedConnect Europe as your agency, then I have an exclusive discount link for you guys, which will be down below in the description. As always, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Thank you.